Yeah, we are. Now we are. Is there a delay? No. So I shouldn't curse or say something <laughs> obnoxious. <laughs> Alexis told me to straighten up. So I guess I have to. All right. Is anybody tuned in? No. <laughs> what is that? Am I talking to myself again? Oh, crap. <laughs> organization you have three people watching you as you did that who's watching uh kelly hey kelly all right we're waiting for a little i know I, I this is annoying when i move like that i'm sorry it's my teaching chair i'll try to stay still <laughs> oh geez i'm still a little wiped out I was on vacation last week i'm going to talk about that a little bit before we uh of our events so that'll be fun alexis is looking up at the phone so we know if we've got an audience we've got kelly who else uh gabby henson jackie Gab Gavera. oh jackie jackie need to talk to you um day lilies give me a call need to talk about that D jackie lives in back in my backyard just about she's in milford and she's got beautiful daylilies. I want to make sure that I am um, angling for an invitation to come over and see all the daylilies in bloom. That was subtle, wasn't it? It was not subtle. But I do want to see them in bloom because she's got tons of them, she said. So, so far, I might have escaped the deer. We'll see. I've got bars of ivory soap hanging all over my yard to keep the deer from eating all of my plants. So far, it's working. I have been known to grow celery in the past, which is what happens when the deer eat the leaves off of the hostas and just the stalks are left. <laughs> So, <laughs> your buddy Ann McAdory. Hey, Ann McAdory. Ann, I'm back from Roatown, Honduras. Good time. Have by all. And I know you've seen this many, many times, but I have not. The fish that was on my bucket list was a midnight parrot fish. Gorgeous. Been waiting for years to see this fish. Huge, brilliant, gorgeous almost fluorescent blue and navy blue, and it was spectacular. It was on the edge of the reef where the bigger fish were. My son saw it, pointed it out, kind of like this, because of course we were snorkeling. Fabulous, fabulous, loved it. That was, that, was, that was probably, for the snorkeling adventure, that was the highlight. We did see sea turtles, but the midnight parrotfish, that was, that was the best. So, good to see you on online. Okay. Should I talk? Should I just start and in, in, in yammer about some stuff, and then we'll get into our events? Uh, yeah, Leona's here too. So good. Hey, Leona. All right. So I usually talk a little bit before, just to let the crowd build. So we've got some people to listen to our classes and events and schedule, and we'll get into that. I wanted to talk to you a little bit. I was just going to tell you a little bit about my vacation. You probably noticed, noticed my savage tan. <laughs> okay, maybe not a savage tan, but that's what happens when you wear a fifty sunscreen protection, as you should. Um, but we did go to Roatan, Honduras in Central America, which was kind of fun. And because of my adventures in Central America, our prize today, which we'll be drawing a name for later, is the Sloth Pincushion. So that's in celebration of my trip to Honduras. Nobody cares, but it is a really cute pincushion. So make sure that uh, you get everybody's name down, Alexis. Um, I did have a bird land on my head. It was a military macaw. It was gorgeous. It was green. It had red on its head. It was huge. I had a bird on this arm and a bird on this arm, which was fine. That was plenty of birds. Bird in the hand. Yeah, well, I had one on each arm. And then a bird flew and landed on my head. I was wearing a hat. The bird landed on my head, bent over, and you know they have those really powerful beaks, right? Because they crack all the nuts. Anyway, he bends over and he bites the button off of my Yellowstone hat. And apparently he does this all the time. Does the guy tell me no? So now my hat's no button, gone. So we go, we have pictures, yada, yada. My husband comes over, my son's there. There's monkeys and the macaws. We're standing there. My husband, of course, is wearing a hat. Guess what happens? Green military macaw, same bird, 28 years old this bird is. That's young, young for a parrot. Lands on my husband's head. Guess what he does? Bites the button off of my husband's hat. Apparently this is a thing. I didn't know it. But I didn't really want to hold the monkey because they have really big incisors. The pointy teeth, not a good look. So I'm standing there saying, oh, no, no, thank you. No, no monkey. No, that's all right. And I'm standing there all of a sudden, whomp, and a monkey lands on my shoulder and then takes its tail, curls it around my neck, and um, 
the monkey's there. So I just, you know, just kind of chilled out with the monkey for a while. It was a white-faced capuchin, if you were wondering. Nobody was wondering. Um, but it was kind of fun. Got some pictures taken. Um, no bites from the monkey. However, I did get a lot of mosquito bites from Honduras and uh, Central American mosquitoes are more vicious than the Ohio kind. They still itch. It's been a week. Nobody cares. Um, told you about the snorkel adventure. I was talking to Ann about the best fish, which was the midnight parrotfish. So big, big fun. Great place. I highly, I highly recommend it. Um, Alexis, do we have enough that you want me to start this schedule or do you want me to still yap? Because God knows I can talk to a wall. Oh, I know you can. Oh my God. Go ahead. She went there. All right. So we'll get into our schedule. Any questions about my vacation? Of course, just email me. But our Ellesmere events, let's talk about those. Um, we've been talking about this one for a while. This is Friday, June 10th, and it is the Red, White, and Barbecue. And that is a Kimberbell event, and Kathleen will be going down to Ellesmere to host and teach that. And there'll be uh, some different designs. There's an oven mitt. There is a, a small bag, and I believe there's an apron. Apron. Apron and oven mitt, that's what it is. But it comes with several different designs that you can use on a variety of, of different things for summer, which is kind of fun. So that is June 10th. Make sure you call Ellesmere and get signed up. So that'll be fun. Um, Ellesmere is hosting a block of the month event, and that is going to be August 6th. So feel free to give a call and do that. Um, I did have my wonderful Stack and Whack class scheduled for Ellesmere, but I got zero signups. Now I was sold out in Tri-County both classes so ladies i would love to teach down in ellsworth i'm happy to do it but if we've got a class down there and i'm teaching please sign up i would love to come down and and, and share what we do up here in tri-county down in ellsmere so but that class was canceled um we do have some specials this week and the first one is it's an extra 25 dollars off the club price for hoops on embroidery so, Alex, what I would like you to do, please, I didn't tell her this ahead of time. I love springing things on her. This is too much fun. Um, if you'll take the camera and point. we find, Ladies, we finally have hoops. If you've been waiting, they are here. So, over here, hoops, down on the floor, hoops. We have the new 200 by 200 metal hoop. That's in. We've got the 160 by 1, excuse me, 180 by 130. That's the 5 by 7 metal hoop and then the large metal hoop. We also have the five by seven plastic. We've got um, the, 20, the 200 by 200 quilter hoop. So all of the hoops are here. Please come in. That's a great special, $25 off the club price. Okay, so that's a good deal. Come on in and visit. Now we have a second special and I would suggest coming in. This is TC, Tri-County and Kentucky only. We've got Selkie embroidery thread, regularly priced at $3.99 a spool. Club price is $2.99 a spool, but this week, the special is $1.99 a spool. Now there are some lovely colors. Now I checked with Alexis before we started to make sure this included all the thread, including the variegated thread, which is what I want. So trust me, there will be less variegated thread before the end of the day because <laughs> I'm going to buy it. They have some really pretty stuff. So, um, and that is the embroidery thread. That's the, the Selkie Rand and it stitches well. Uh-oh, question. I just want to verify that yes. the hoops are normally, your club price gets you 25% off. Correct. We are offering an extra $25 off. What did I say? Price. Did I say percent twice? No, I, I think I said sure. $25. I'm just, I'm just verifying yeah, it's there's a question. Yeah, because I read it off here. $25 off the club price. So if you've been waiting for, I'll tell you what, my favorite hoop is the five by seven. Okay. 180 by 130. That is a great size because you don't want to use the big, it's bigger than the 120 by 120 hoop, but you don't want to use the big one and waste your stabilizer. I'm right there with you. I love that five by seven hoop. That's probably the one I use the most. I use a lot of them, but I do like that one the most. And we've got plenty of those. We've got them in the metal and in the plastic. So that's a good deal. Come on in. Um, also, as I said, that sulky thread, buck 99 a spool. Is there a limit on the number of spools? Was, I, that's not written on my sheet here. 10. 10 spools? It's Ladies? Crazy. Limit of 10 spools. Margaret's being very generous. Margaret's being very generous. Now I will tell you this. Ladies, look at your, look at your threads. And I will tell you, if you're like me, and a lot of you are, we all have this, the same issue with thread. 
the threads that you don't have are the weird colors, the browns. You need browns because you don't buy them because they're not pretty, right? But you need browns when you're doing your embroidery. Grays, they're, look at the tweener colors that you don't have and then hustle in here and get your thread. Don't worry about the variegated, that's all gonna be gone. <laughs> so. I'll leave a couple, okay, all right. Will you go? I will, I will. I don't need multiples of variegated. I just want one of each color. Exactly, exactly, like Kathleen said. And then Kathleen will buy it. Well, no, I see I, no problem with that. I, I already have them all. She's already got them. That's the thing. We So we get a shipment on Tuesdays, right? That's we get Tuesdays and Fridays. But Tuesdays when we get our goodie box and we say, Don, did you bring us any goodies? So we paw through it. If there's any good stuff in there, ladies, you never see it because as employees, we buy it all. <laughs> I mean, we do get paid for working here, but let me tell you, it's about an even. It's a, we about break even, right? So any of the good stuff, man, it never hits the floor. Uh-oh, the phone's ringing. I bet that's elsewhere. I'm in trouble probably. All right, Tri-County Events. Um, Saturday, June 4th is Sit and Sew. It's always the first Saturday of the month. We had a great crowd last time. People that were finishing up their stack and white quilts came in. If you've got strawberry quilt, okay, we had the class on that. Bring your strawberries in, come in. Don't leave me hanging, girls. If I don't have people here for sit and sew, I'm not gonna be able to have sit and sew, okay? So come on in, let's work on some projects. If you've got an embroidery project or a Kimberbell project that you've been embroidering and you need some help with, come on in, I'm here to help, okay? So that'll be fun. June 4th, Alexis is providing refreshments. Do we know what they are yet? I'm putting her on the spot again. Oh, I'm getting one of these. If you've got an idea, don't say something silly like steak because that ain't gonna happen. But you know, if you have a special request, email it into Alexis right now. <laughs> That'll get me in trouble. I love it. June 4th, this Saturday, come in and uh, sew with me. Uh, June 8th, Stitch em With Style. This is our $10 Make It Take It project class that I get to host. And um, June 8th, that is a Wednesday, we're making an ironing board caddy. So what that is, is it's got pockets on it and it drapes over your ironing board side to side and it's got your necessities you need while you're pressing. So it's got a little ruler, snips, scissors, a marking pencil, um, clips, that type of thing. So it's just got little pick pockets on it and it drapes over your ironing board. It'll be fun, call in. Now, the thing is, do call in and get on the schedule for that because we need Alexis to send out the supply list. So I need eight or 10 people. We normally we normally don't have any trouble filling up Stitching with Style, um, but I need you to call in, get on the class list so we can get that supply list out. She's got it. We need to get that out so you can have your fabrics. It's not. It's gonna be an easy class. You'll, these will be fabrics you have in your stash, okay? So that is June 8th. Uh, Friday, June 24th, our lovely Anne with an E we'll be teaching the Ruler of the Month program. So this is uh, free motion quilting, but this is using the rulers and it does include the ruler. And I believe the cost on that was $34.95. I think I looked at the sheet. I believe so. I believe so. We've got three signups for it and it probably, in fact, I'm sure, because I looked that before I sat down. Eight maximum. We've got three people signed up. That $34.95 includes the class, lunch, and includes the ruler. So if you're intrigued by that, do come in. The other thing is, ladies, we, we've sold a, a good, a good solid handful of the new Janome M17. Why do I bring this up? That new machine has a ding stitch regulator that works with rulers. So if you have the new machine, this will be an excellent opportunity to work with that with the rulers for ruler quilting. So I think that'll be fun. That is Anne with an E. And that is Friday, June 24th, Ruler of the Month Club. Wednesday, next, we've got Wednesday, June 29th and July 6th. This is the Kimberbell Two Scoops Bench Pillow. I know you can see I'm smiling. And the reason is, this is so stinking cute, I can't stand it for summer. This is, and I'm gonna hold this up to the camera. You're gonna tell me if I've got it in the right position. Can you see it? Go down a little bit. Go down a little bit? Yeah, there you go. Okay. This is the bench pillow, the Kimberbell bench pillow for two scoops. It is everything about ice cream. Darling, darling, darling. So on this bench pillow, we've got the ice cream cart. We've got ice cream sandwiches. We've got an ice cream cone. We've got the ice cream truck and the sound effect when you touch it plays the ice cream truck song, which I like. Um, we've got parfaits. We've got cherries like you would put on top of a sundae. 
Oh, and there's a banana split. So this is cuteness personified. I am doing it. Yes, absolutely. Wouldn't miss out on this. Cute embellishments. In fact, one of the embellishments, I'm under the bus you go again, Alexis. One of the embellishments for the ice cream cone are sprinkles. And the sprinkles are beads. Alexis looked at me and says, no way are you sewing those beads on. And she's right. No way am I sewing those beads or the sprinkles on that ice cream cone by hand. However, Kathleen turned me on to something new, which is called liquid stitch. It is serious stuff, serious glow. In fact, it's got a bit of a smell to it, but it is strong. So I will be gluing my sprinkles on the cone. I'm not doing that hand sewing, that H-A-N-D stuff. Mm -mm. Okay, but this is stinking cute. Now, I gave you two dates. I'm going to tell you where they are again. June 29th and July 6th. This is an embroidery class, okay, for the bench pillow. And it is $99? $99.95. $99.95 and includes the pillow, okay, includes the um, software. The software. And does it include the embellishment kit? Yes, it does. And it includes the embellishment kit, which you got to have. Kimber Bell without embellishment kit is like, you know, that would be silly. This is going to be epic. You've got to come in for this one. This is going to be fun. I can't wait to start it. Okay. Um, July 12th is Social Corner. The last time we had Social Corner, I had, how many, I had 12 people. Mm -hmm. We had 12 ladies show up, and I had, was just back from Paducah. So I talked about, I couldn't stop talking. Big surprise, I know. But I talked about all the things I had learned in Paducah. I had great handouts on thread from the Superior booth. Uh, all kinds of wonderful things that we talked about. He had a slideshow of the quilts from the quilt show. A lot of fun. So I will plan and have something equally fun for July. Okay, so plan on that. Put on your calendar. When? Yeah, July 12th is Social Corner. So put that on your calendar. Um, I think that is everything for Ellesmere and Tri-County that I can think of. Um, I am going to say one more thing. Then I'm going to let Kathleen talk, come up and talk about our virtual events, which she's got two. If you have an idea for a class on something that we have not touched on or that you would like to do, please let us know. Email us, respond, Facebook, whatever. So we're always looking for ideas because the idea is to keep you engaged and happy and working in your hobby. So if you have something or you've seen something, you say, hey, I think this would be a great class. Let us know, okay? All right, so two virtual events. I'm gonna let Kathleen talk and then I'll be by to say um, goodbye. I'll let you have the trolley chair. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hello. So coming up, the first um, uh, virtual class that we have is going to be Sweet Land of Liberty Pillow. It is um, an 18 by 18 pillow with and the finished design will be 22 by 22 including the flanges so this is a virtual class it's going to be thursday the 9th of june um, there is um, as part of this there will be a kit and the software will um, be sent to you uh, for this so um, sign up for that one really soon uh, for those of you that have already signed up, you should have received an email that um, contained a PDF file that looks like this, um, and it will have some supply list. It's going to give you um, some cut lists for your SF-101 and your batting um, and a couple other um, hints and helpful things to do uh, as part of your kit that you will pick up at the store, um, there will be um, a cut list for the fabrics that you need to complete the pillow. The other virtual event this month is the Kimberbell Monthly Zoom Club, and there are actually two projects as part of that. It is um, called um, Beautiful, I can't remember, but anyway, project number one is a heart and it's all done with embroidery collage. Uh, and project number two is a vase with three different flowers on it. These can be done on tea towels or um, other, um, other things that you might want to use, but the technique is really interesting and a lot of fun to do. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing people's creations coming from that. And other than that, I um, have nothing more and it's back to Brenda. <laughs> get the trolley chair. All right, I'm back. 
And I'm doing the Sweet Land of Liberty pillow. And um, Alexis has graciously allowed me to come and do that in the shop with Kathleen here. So am I going to get extra attention and tutor tutoring? Yes. Do I need it? <laughs> but I'm really excited about that pillow. If you haven't seen that in person, when you come in to pick up your kit, it is stinking cute. Oh my gosh. I love the flanges. It just makes such a statement. It is darling. I'm going to make it and give it to my mom. Don't tell my mom because she would be disappointed. So, okay, Alexis. Yeah. You are getting ready to draw the name for the sloth pincushion. Unless there is there anything else? Am I eligible for the sloth? Uh, I am not. We went to a place where the, the, the monkey jumped on my shoulder and the birds in the, the hat, yeah, 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 yeah. They're supposed to have a sloth. I wanted my picture with the sloth, but the sloth, he fell out of the tree, big surprise, right? And he didn't make it. So this is as close as I will come to the, to the sloth. Maybe next time, I don't know. All right. Do we need a drum roll? I'm just going to throw them at you and let you pick them. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes. Just throw them here. Sloth. Okay. Okay, and the winner of the sloth, which I think is really cute, is Leona Smith. So, Leona, is she there? Is she still there? I think so. Okay, good. Leona, come on in to visit and pick up your sloth pincushion, which is really seriously cute. So... All right, Alexis, anything else? Anything you want to add? Um, just any further questions about classes, give us a call here in the store. Yes, and, we'll and to call them. to sign up. The reason we do these classes are for you. Okay, so we need to, need to have people come in, have fun, tell your friends, bring a friend. Okay, that's fine too. Um, and if again, I'm going to reiterate, if you have an idea for a class or something you'd like to see us teach or something you've seen somewhere else, maybe online that you've looked at or whatever, you've gone to a quilt show or a quilt shop, whatever, let us know so that we have things to keep everyone interested and engaged. And with that being said, until next time, it's Brenda with Luke's.